Hi guys, Lee Cole here. Got Mike on with me. Mike, say hello. Hi everybody. And Mike, are you excited about this? Um, that's possibly the biggest understatement of the last decade. <laughs> I'm very, I'm, very I'm, excited about this. I'm seriously thinking this is uh, the coolest thing we've come up with. I mean, th this is killer because it's totally um, nuts. Uh, I think we are very, very fortunate as internet marketers to be presented with a scale of an opportunity that we have been doing, and all we've really done is address that, you know, with, with the experience that we, we've got. So, yeah, it's the mix, that is one hell of a mixture. <laughs> it's, it's, cool. Yeah. Well, very let's, uh, without further ado, let's um, move on and see what this thing does. Okay, very cool. Um, I have, I mean, I've genuinely been looking forward to this. It's like last night was like the night before Christmas. I was like, this is so cool. I'm going to get to show everybody it. And literally right up until, you know, the last, last few hours, I've been, been tinkering around with, with the, the, the final release and just making sure that we've, we've really got a piece of software that potentially, you know, could change some people's lives. Um, and I, I, I'm, you know, I'm British. I don't, I'm not one to buy in to these huge sweeping statements, but ge genuinely, this is such an amazing opportunity to make some money. Um, you know, I just really do hope that that we can reach a few people and, and they can, you know, they take action and do something with it. So, um, I'm going to dive right in because there's there's quite a lot to cover with it um, because it does it does quite a bit of stuff and. I really just want to, I don't know, you know, I know some people will have seen the first few video that I did the other day, but I know a lot of people haven't yet. So I just wanted to just kind of cover a few things that I did on that because it's really important that you've got a handle on, you know, what exactly is going on, what, what this whole landscape looks like that you're going to be able to make all this money from. Um, so the, the big question that everybody's got is, you know, what's going on? What's Google done? Um, and... I mean, literally, if you've been living under a rock, you'll have missed all this, but since the middle of February, roughly, um, Google did this big announcement, and it's, and it's really kind of their first public sort of definitive stance on how the internet is evolving. And, and you know, it, it, it doesn't take a genius to realize that we're all using mobile devices to browse the internet these days, like more and more and more. I mean... You know, I, I work on a computer, on a desktop, so I do still do a bit on that, but, you know, on an evening, I would never think, of, I, I mean, my laptop's like dusty these days, I never get it out, because why would I bother when it's all right there on, you know, my, my, my Galaxy phone or whatever, so, um, Google's like kind of officially said, you know, we need, web, for, for, for your website to do well in our search engine, which of course is extremely important, um, it's got to be mobile friendly, and, and they gave everybody this kind of deadline, if you like, of April the 21st, um, which they, they announced that they would be rolling out this this sort of this big big update. So I'm going to bring that in just for, for people to reference to client, potential clients about this. I mean, but you can send them to this web page, and actually, just, you know, it's like from the horse's mouth. Google are saying this is what's going on, um, and it's over on the Webmaster Central blog. And, I mean, if you just if you do a Google search for, for Google Mobile Friendly, this one comes up top because it is the announcement. So um, that announcement came, and obviously there's been there's been a whole load of hysteria and stuff going on ever since um, because you know it's like the sky's going to fall down, it's going to be this you know crazy thing go on, and and actually I mean it, it doesn't it was never going to roll out quite like that, um, and for all the scaremongering and all, all the rest of it. it you know, I'm, I've been fortunate enough to be in this industry for long enough to just be able to take a realistic view on it, which is why when the announcement came, we, we started to make plans because we realized there's going to be a huge opportunity to market to people that have a genuine need to, to deal with this, and, and Google is going to be a point of credibility to, to, to demonstrate that. So, um, obviously, the update came out. It has started to affect uh, search results. Um, we expect that to gather a little bit of pace as 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 it rolls out further and further. And actually, the, there was a huge jump in the amount of mobile friendly sites even before the update rolled out as a result of people just getting their acts together and upgrading their website um, and getting it sorted. So, you know, one way or another, Google are getting their way, as, as you might imagine they would. Um, but, you know, it, the point is there um, that the might of Google's PR engine 
has, has, has literally put the word out to business owners, you need to get your website mobile friendly. In, in no uncertain terms, they've, they've done that right down to the point. And I mean, this again is a really cool tool if you haven't seen it already. Um, and actually, we're, we're gonna, it's, it's something that we're going to leverage within the software itself. But um, they've, they've even developed a mobile friendly test whereby you can you know, tap a, a web address in here. I'm going to tap this one in because um, I know it's not friendly yet because it's one way to do it next week, um, which by the way has already appeared in full, always nice. Um, and it's, it's a, you know, Google literally goes, crawls the website um, and runs various tests on it, checks various metrics and literally returns um, how it views it you know, and, and, and whether or not it's friendly. So, you know, we've got definitive evidence to be able to show a business owner, look, Google's saying your website's not up to scratch and the result is you're going to drop down the search engines. Now, it's massive. It's a massive, massive problem that to particularly a local business owner because, you know, that's, they, they rely on those local searches to get a lot of traffic through their door. That's, that's how a lot of people find stuff. So if all of a sudden because their site isn't mobile friendly yet and their competitors is, it's putting them you know, a, a big, big disadvantage straight off the bat. So that's there we go. I'm not about mobile friendly. So you get all this stuff, and you get the little, um, you get the little preview there of of what's wrong with it, and 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 so on and so forth. So a very very useful tool. And when I saw that tool, I thought this is something we need to be able to leverage, and you know, be, be able to present to these business owners and demonstrate, you know, why they need a, a, our service, and you know, and, and go from there. So. It's, it's a big deal, guys, and you know, you know that's that is why I'm so excited because you know if Google says it has to happen, then it has to happen, and, and you know it's I've, I mean I, literally I've sold hundreds of websites. If I mean it must be going on for you know a thousand I suppose over all the years, and you know it's all right. But I've been with many, you know business owners from small self-employed guys working by themselves right up to you know blue chip directors, and you know half of the problem when you're explaining a technology type based sale to somebody is, is making them understand and, and believe that you're credible and you, you know, all that stuff you know that there's a whole part of a sales process there and actually Google's just taken that whole problem and given us a solution to it as as you know as internet marketers so it's it's very very exciting it is quite genuinely the biggest opportunity in the last 10 years I mean I've never bar none I've never seen anything like this I mean it, you know brand reputation started coming about when social media got popular there was a little bit of an opportunity there so people made some money you know, search engine optimization Google AdWords all that stuff videos all you know it's a big it's growing it's a growing thing nothing that has been just a one specific opportunity like this is, has ever existed to my knowledge in the last 10 years that I've been in the industry so you know it's properly huge it is properly properly huge so you know I'm, I'm I just want to put as many people in that as I can in the position that they can harness this because I'm going to just to, to look at some figures in a minute, but um, the, sc the scale of it is just mental. Um, so you know, I've, I've sort of termed it the, uh, the mobile gold rush because everybody, you know, mobile getting and all this that, this kind of scaremongering. Yeah, I mean that that was that, that kind of signified this big cataclysmic event that was going to happen on, on the, the you know April 21st a bit like the main calendar thing I suppose you know the sensible people out there knew that was never going to happen but there is we are now actually that that cataclysmic event is 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 occurring right now around us you know even now today people have been actively selling mobile sites and making huge profit margins you know while we've been getting ready to launch this software so we I mean, we literally haven't got a moment to lose which is why Having a piece of software that can help us leverage is, is is really important because you know it's it's first come first serve. These people are going to have to get this this work done one way or another. So you know we're literally we're in a position where we've got desperate local businesses. They are genuinely they, they've got a problem, and for some local businesses they will have slipped down the results. And I mean anybody that's been involved in any kind of search marketing will 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 vouch for me on this. But if you've had a website that's in position one particularly, but position two or three as well, they will be getting a lot of traffic, pretty much regardless of the keyword, they will be getting, you know, a lot of traffic based on, on, on the, the, the thing that it is. If they've now slipped down to even five or six and not a huge drop, their traffic will have dropped to 20% or 10% of what they've been used to. 
So if we've got a business that is reliant on that traffic for their livelihood, how important is it going to be to them to get that problem sorted out and jump back up those three or four little places on Google and make sure that they're still you know, in, in prime position? You know, so we've got literally people that are desperate and actually seeing an impact on their business which you know is such a powerful thing it's you know if, if you've ever I mean God help us if you've ever gone out cold calling trying to sell websites to people I mean it's like the most thankless task in the world I used to have a team of people doing that and you know every day we used to have to like fill them up on Red Bull and kind of cheer them all up because they've got to sit there all day getting all this negativity from the world because everybody's got a website they don't feel like they want a new one this changes all that because these people actually need it doing you know that they've got a major major problem and equally those that have been the other way around so they've been kind of sat at five or six thinking oh, wouldn't it be nice if I could just get up to you know a bit higher on Google they've actually got that opportunity because you know if their competition's been sleeping while all this has been going on if they quickly nip in there they will go up very very quickly and they'll get the the benefit of all that but the bottom line is either way got, there's no choice in the matter it's got to get done um, which you know that is where the golden opportunity really exists. So I just wanted to quantify how big this opportunity is, and it was really for my own sanity as much as as much as to be able to share with you guys tonight. Because it, 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 where where it's coming from is, is as I've been testing this over the last couple of months, I, I was genuinely shocked, and you know I, I, I said to Leon Skype and to Gloria, guys, I can't believe it. it's like half the internet doesn't work on a mobile device still I mean I thought maybe 10% maybe 20% would have a problem it you know on the tests I've been doing on genuine local businesses testing this software out to make sure that it works the average that I've come come up with is 46% is, is of them have been non-friendly um, I mean that is that's a lot <laughs> it really really is um, it does vary depending I mean you know obviously Web designers, if, if you, you check their websites, the majority of them are mobile friendly. That stands to reason. Tech companies, that you know, they, they, they've got the fingers on the pulse of this stuff. Go and check the motor mechanics or the hair salons or, you know, those industries that, you know, don't sit on their computers all day long. The number's even higher, um, which is crazy. So I just wanted to see what that equated to in numbers. Um, so I did a little bit of research and, and according to the IRS they, the, the, there's about 22 million active US businesses that this potentially would apply to. Um, the, the number's much higher than that but they, they broke it down, 22 million. Um, so 46% is simple maths, 10 million, 120,000 potential customers sitting out there right now and you know that number's decreasing as, as, as I'm talking so I better get on with this. But, you, you know, it's it's a huge, huge opportunity. So, in terms of value, I wanted to be able to see what what that would look like. Um, and it seems, I mean, it's slightly different here in the UK. I mean, I've I've sold quite a few mobile sites now off the back of all this happening to you know to all clients and a few people have got in touch with me and one thing or another. I've been selling for five hundred pounds sterling, um, plus the plus the taxes as well. So. Um, you know that's that's probably more like 750 uh, US dollars, but it seems that in the US uh, a reasonable price to be charging these local business owners will be 500 dollars, um, which you know, sounds about right to me. Um, that's with you know getting them sorted out, putting them mobile redirecting person stuff like that. Um, it then sounds very very reasonable to, um, to to charge them 15 dollars a month for hosting that that site and looking after it and keeping it maintained. So. Um, You've also got the benefit of that ongoing um, revenue as well, which is, you know, <laughs> that's that's really where the money is. Trust me. Um, now, as far as the cost, the cost of that, um, I mean, we're going to get onto that because we've we've actually got you covered with with some of the stuff, and I'm I'll, I'm going to transfer back to Lee when I when I finish demonstrating the software to you shortly, and we'll go through that. But I mean, to develop a, a mobile site is could be anything from literally zero. You know, there could be no cost at all. Up to uh, you know twenty dollars. I mean, don't get me wrong. You you could spend thousands if you want. It's just like anything in technology. But to deliver a, a good value, you know, good value for money product to a local business owner that, that is going to tick all the boxes and do what it needs to do, and is worth charging a minimum five hundred dollars. You you don't need to be spending more than twenty dollars to get that done. Um, so putting that into numbers, 
Um, just because I like to do that, you know, who wants to get involved in a business that doesn't make sense? Although this is quite obviously a no-brainer. If all you got was a hundred clients, you'd have fifty k up front and a fifteen hundred a month retainer just coming in on autopilot. I mean, that's that's a proper business. That's that's you know, that's more than some people and for for working sixty hours a week or whatever. Um, and actually, based on you know. The, 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 the potential market, it's like, uh, I don't even know what that is, a 0.9001% market share, I mean, it's, it's literally, it's nothing, it's a barely a sliver of the entire market, and, you know, you've got 50 grand in the bank, which is always a nice windfall, um, you know, as is the 1500 as well, so it's, it, you, it's worth a lot of money, this guy's, you know, it's, it, and, and it's just right for the taking, um, you know, we just literally need to get out there and, and, and do that, and, and, and actually, Actually, sees that sees the opportunity. So, um, there's there's some you know there, there are some mistakes, and and I, just for a bit of fun, I, I just wanted to kind of try and demonstrate demonstrate how this can go wrong. So, um, I know it's Friday afternoon, and everybody's getting a bit sluggish. So, I just thought we could do this just just for a little bit of fun, um, just just to see how we get on. So, I hope you, I assume you can all see my screen. If if you can't, I do apologise. This is a visual. You're gonna you are gonna need to see this, but. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in uh, an image, and I'm, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you 30 seconds, and I want you to count how many dots are on the page, okay? For anybody who gets it correct, in the 30 seconds, I'm going to give them a free license for this software tonight. So, are you ready? <laughs> I'm going to bring this in. You've got 30 seconds. You need to count all the dots and get the number correct, correct okay? So, there we go. Okay, yeah, and we're counting down. We're going, so I hope you... Let me count him real quick. <laughs> People are just guessing that. <laughs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> I'm just typing random numbers in. Could be anything. <laughs> I've got one out of 100 chance of getting it. I mean, or well, you know, whatever. It's basically, a lottery is, is what we've got. Okay. Yeah. The time's up, guys. The time's up. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring that up and, uh, and we'll. <laughs> <laughs> Did we Where see the number it? yet? I'll check afterwards. I mean, I have to assume. <laughs> okay, I guess he's looking at some of the numbers that are all flashing past past my eyes right now. But I tell you what, why why don't we just to make sure because I can't necessarily match up people's names with their emails. So at the end of the webinar, why don't y'all stay on? And if you're there and if you got it right, then you'll get the license. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, what I just wanted to demonstrate, guys, is is really the important of the importance of having. A really good strategy. Now, I'm going to bring another image in, and you don't get a free license for getting this right, but you have a go anyway. Um, and if I told you that um, there's a there's, there's two there's two red lines across the uh, across the image, and in each quarter of the screen is the same amount of dots, and that number is um, you, you you know there's the same amount of dots in each quarter. It's, it's as simple as that. So. 30 seconds again, guys. Let's see if you can get the numbers right. Just just keep it to track of the time, Lee. You can do this and we know. But there we go. So in each quarter, there's exactly the same amount of dots. You've got 30 seconds. How many dots are on the screen? Boom. Okay, we're already seeing some right answers. Obviously, you know, there's a strategy there. Once you've got, once you know how the land lies, it becomes very easy to, to make something that, you know, Prior to that, you were just guessing. You know, everybody's just throwing numbers out there, and actually, that that is exactly times up anyway. Just about guys. So yes, there's 60. There was 15 dots in each corner. Um, I'm really glad. <laughs> my guess was only four off. I need to shut those, those questions down. Distracting all these numbers flashing past my head. Um, I'm, I'm really glad everybody guessed like they did because that's exactly what happens in in these situations where there's. You know, there's something up for grabs, and all I did there was put up a free license for the software. You know, it's it, it, it's not a huge amount of money, but straight away everybody went crazy guessing and desperately trying to come up with the right answer. And it was only when I gave you the strategy that actually it was it was quite a straightforward process. And that's exactly what I'm doing tonight, guys. That is exactly what I'm about to give you with this software. It's the strategy to make sure that you get this right because the, the biggest mistake you could make with this opportunity is to not have the, have the correct strategy 
and just go at it haphazardly making guesses by the time you guess it and you'll get it right eventually because you're all intelligent people that's why you're on this webinar and you're interested in, in this opportunity in the outset you will get it right eventually but this this opportunity isn't going to last forever and the worst thing would be for you to get 12 months down the line or 18 months down the line and go guess what I have got it I've got it completely sussed out I know exactly how to sell mobile websites to the general public and everybody's got a mobile website it would be the worst thing ever and I don't want that to happen to you so what we've got here is a strategy and it's literally end-to-end and -end. Um, another mistake that that, that is, put, is out there and, and this will happen loads I know it will because already people trying to sell data for people that you know for, for, for business owners that, that require this service you know it's marketing data you can email them you can do blah 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 and um, that data will get old real quick because you know these remember they, you've got a, you've got a perfect sales storm here because you've got you've got prospects that need your product desperately it's, it's causing them a whole load of pain and they need that pain to go away so that data is going to get old real quick because as soon as anybody works it and you know if you've if you've thought about buying data or you've been a pro you know people are, I've been having loads of people trying to sell me data already um, it, they're not just going to sell that data to you it would never be exclusive anyway so you know that that's going to get sold to a whole load of marketers and it's I mean you just waste so much time with it um, equally you know even if you, you're lucky enough to get that if, if your marketing's at all clumsy you'll make some sales but you'll you'll be leaving food on the table um, and and they just you know every sale that you miss it's it's such a huge lost opportunity because not only are you going to sell them a, a mobile site and, and whatever but you, you're going to have a great relationship with that person because you've solved a big problem for them so if you're doing video you're going to be able to sell them videos if you're doing brand reputation management you can you, you're going to be able to sell them that. if you're doing social media if you if you're doing pretty much anything if it's just your friends they're going to come around and you know they'll be the ones mowing your lawn for you, it, you you know you've got that opportunity but it's got to be um, it's got to be an elegant solution um, another mistake I see a lot in, in these kind of opportunities is, is, a, is a poor follow-up procedure you know it, it's, it's one thing getting the um, getting the inquiry or, get, or getting that you know that red-hot lead of somebody that really needs the service but you know unless you're a, a, you know a Jordan Belfort level closing guy who goes out and you know that kind of that's that's that kind of sales guy that always gets the deal you know and, and who wants to be that guy anyway you know it's more, it's more about building a relationship with somebody so if you're going to build a relationship you've got to follow up on it um, and the biggest mistake and I see this across all industries in, in, in all age groups and everything is it's just poor follow-up by sales guys you know because we all we you get all excited and you know you have the conversation and the business owner goes away and gets real busy again and they need that follow-up they need pushing along so we've, we, we want to get you covered on that um, and also scalability is is you know if you if you're not in a position to be able to take advantage of this and you know it's easy for me to say only 100 clients I'm, I'm sure there'll be people on the webinar tonight thinking god I'd be happy to get 10 um, if, you, if, you, if you've got scalability there 100 it, I mean it could be 500 it's up to you it's how big you want to build that business um, but if you if you've not if you can't scale it, well, ten is going to be pretty high maintenance by itself, and you know not make you anywhere near as much money. Um, and and one thing that's kind of I added this um, almost last minute when I was putting this presentation together because I've had, I've had a few people, you know, a few people on my Skype, or on my Facebook, on my Twitter, um, LinkedIn, that, and hit and hit me up because obviously with all this kind of hysteria going on with the whole mobile getting and you know everything's going to blow up on the mobile device it's going to be terrible and blah 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 there's been a lot of products circulating out there and some, don't get me wrong with some of them really really good products I'm, I'm not you know remotely dissing anybody's product they're great but um, the majority of them don't have the full picture in fact I've, I've not seen one that does like ours and I know I would say that but genuinely I just haven't seen anything that has end to end here's what you need to do to go and capitalize to the maximum on this opportunity um, so there's a lot of people that are kind of sat there with pieces of the puzzle and by the way if you've got those pieces you're going to be able to plug them into what we're doing here without any shadow of a doubt but there's a lot of pieces sat there with all the gear but you know it's not actually all the gear and that's the problem um, you know which which unfortunately leaves them with no idea so I honestly believe we've got that covered for you guys and 
I believe Mobile Client Finder is the tool is is probably the only tool you're going to need to make sure that you've got that. And then, yeah, I mean, we, th there are some OTOs, as always. You know, you're our people. You, you're on our list. That's why you're. You, you know, this is a private launch. This isn't going public. Um, and you know, the, the, we'll, we'll show you all that stuff. And you know, you may or may not need it. Lee will demonstrate that when I've got done um, showing you the software. But it is end to end, guys. It's everything that you need. So without Without further ado, I am going to uh, I'm going to bring the software in and let's let's have a, let's just have a little a look and, and feel of what it does. So, um, as I said, the, the thing with it is it it, it actually leverages um, that mobile friendly tool that, that Google have kindly developed for us and given us that kind of if Google says it, it, it it's how it is, then it, it kind of how it is. Um, so this is the app on face value. It looks looks pretty straightforward because I mean actually the the interface doesn't need to do much. Effectively, to, to work the software, what you would do is enter a search term. Um, now, this ideally wants to be a, a, as, as fairly targeted as you possibly can. Um, for example, if you, um, you know, if you if you just search for hair salon, you, you, the results are going to be so broad. Um, it, it's just not great. Really, you want to you want to you want to try and target this down to you know to metropolitan areas, towns, um, you know the smaller geographic bits because you'll you'll be able to just milk it and milk it and milk it for 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 time to come. And actually, what will happen is when you put your search term in there, um, so I'm going to put in hair salon Yorkshire. That's where I'm from. Um, what that's going to do is it's going to query the uh, Google Places API. Um, it's nice and quick. It goes off and it first of all it, it it finds as many as it can, and then it goes through and it scrapes all the data through, um, you know, the, the business address, the telephone number, all that stuff that you can get from Google Places. So, I mean, that alone is 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 a handy little thing to have anyway. So, you, you know, even in its basic form, you basically you've got a Google Places scraper, which is is always a good thing. Um, but then it it, it kind of goes one step beyond that because what it will do is then systematically run each of those websites that it's found through the mobile friendly tool. And, and bring back the data as to whether or not the website is actually friendly or not. So when I was talking about the data side of things, it doesn't get any more up to date than this. I mean, literally at that very point in time, Google is saying this website is not mobile friendly. They need to get a new one. Okay, so it's it's absolutely on the money. You're not going to waste your time with anybody that's actually got a mobile friendly site or they've you know they've just upgraded or whatever or somebody's already sold to them none of that because it's only going to handle the ones that actually need it so that cuts out a load of wasted time straight away um, but then it's going to go one step further because what it's actually going to do is create this a fully branded fully customizable um, PDF report that you're going to be able to provide that business owner to show them very graphically that they've got a problem because You've got to be careful doing this. I saw people do this kind of back in back in the day before. <laughs> sound like I've been at it for forever, but back in the day when when websites kind of went to Web 2.0 and CSS became you know widely used in browsers, all that stuff. Basically, there was a point in time where websites went from being pretty much but ugly to all of a sudden they could be quite pretty, and you know there was a little bit of an opportunity there for that. Um, but the big mistake I saw a lot of people make, and I kind of made it myself a few times, was sort of approaching business owners saying, um, you know, your website's but ugly, do you, want a, do you want a pretty one? Which, whether it's true or not, and, you know, as a Yorkshireman, I, I am lucky enough to be very, very direct at most of the time. It's just a little bit insulting. You've got a, you know, although that is the truth of the matter, if you're going to sell to somebody, you don't want to start the conversation off by saying, saying you know, by the way, your website's horrible. Um, and the same, you know, that, that same problem exists here. So, what by creating the report, what we're actually doing in, in a very, very elegant, sophisticated manner is saying your website's not up to scratch. But because it's presented in such a professional um, manner, you, you're not going to upset anybody with that. And not only that, but you know, you've clearly gone to some effort to be able to provide them with with the report. So, um, I'm going to show you just how you can how you can customize the report and. Um, You'll go into, you go into tools and the report preferences up here and this brings up um, the little interface that, that lets you uh, lets you design it and, and literally it's a, it's a live preview so um, I put in the, the name up there which is the author name which would be my name 
Um, so you can tap your address in. You don't have to, but you know, the, the more contact details um, you add, the better. Um, oops. And you can see, as literally, if it's as I'm typing, it's you know, it's showing me what I'm getting on there. I can put the, um, I can put my zip. I can put my, you know, website in there. I can, obviously, my telephone number, my email. So it's there, you know, straight away. And and better still, I can actually, um, I can actually brand it. So if you've already got a business brand going on within, you know, if you're doing some offline stuff, I'm going to be able to set the color of the sidebar. Um, I can make the text color. You know, match that, um, and I can also go ahead and actually, um, I can choose a, a logo file as well, and um, that's that's popped me up a little a little open screen up here, um, which will allow me to choose my logo um, and have that stamped into every single one of the uh, in, in, into every single one of the reports. So, um, you know, it, it, it's going to match your business. It, it has the you know the current date and time on it, so it looks you know it's very very current. Um, and just to bring the report in, because you know, we've really put some, some serious effort into making this report be what it needs to be for you, but just to bring the report in, this was, this was just, uh, just a test one that I ran off the other day. But as you can see, um, let me find that mobile, uh, mobile testing, there it was. So um, if I just bring the, the, the mobile thing back in. A business owner can go and do this. Remember, and you know, so if if anybody questions your, um, you know, your your, your credibility, you say, well, go and, go and have a look on the mobile friendly test. Here's the link. You could you could actually direct them to do this themselves if they really wanted to, just for just for categoric proof. But on this page, you know, we get the the, the main bullet points of, of the as to the problems with the um, with, with the site, and we even get this cool little preview thing going on there. So you know, what we've actually done is bring that, you scrape it in off, off of that tool and, and you know we've got the web address in this and it, it, the, the beauty of that little preview is it's, it's really going to resonate with the business owner. I mean what you, you don't need to tell you know that it's, it's a very very elegant way of saying you know your website's got problems because they can see for themselves you know these people I mean especially the small business owners they maybe don't even have smartphones yet some of them you know we know, we know local business owners are like um, the busy running local businesses. So for them to see quite graphically like that, oh yeah, that actually doesn't look that great. That is definitely not the best way of of, de of you know showing my business to the world. Um, and you know, big call to action there at the, at the bottom. It's a very elegant way of getting an inbound inquiry because you know, we can just ping this out to people, um, and you know, they're pressed. They're, they're going to see that. They're going to have a means of contacting you. A very, very, very powerful way of saying, "Let me get this sorted out for you." So um, that's pretty cool by itself. But I wanted to take it even one step further because you know we're all busy. We've, we've all got, we all have lots of stuff to do besides, um, you know, prospecting. So I wanted to make this as hands-free as possible. So to that end, and this is a pro feature, guys. There is a basic version of the app which is going to be a little bit cheaper um, because I know some people just won't, won't get any benefit from. From this this side of it, they'll just want to be able to create the reports and send them out, you know, however they want to do that. Um, but for those of us that, that you know prefer to do as little as possible while making money, um, we have got it set up as well. So it's got a built-in email. There. So literally, you can. You, I'm just going to pull the email settings up here, but it's just just basic SMTP sending. You can. I mean, you can disable it if you don't want it. For a particular sending, um, but you just you get your SMTP details in here. We've got full training and all of that, and you can actually you know you can this is a subject line, so it could be um, you know your mobile optimization. I'll do the American spelling and some of Facebook point out to me that it was very British earlier, so we altered that. Um, your mobile optimization report. Um, and literally, you've got a full HTML editor in there. If you've already got, um, if you've already got an email template, you know, a nice designed email, branded email template that you've got. I mean, literally, if you want, you can just drop your um, your, your the HTML code, code for that into that. If if you haven't, you can make it look all nice and pretty. And you know, they they say, oh, "Madam, please find attached um, a report I've generated for your business." You may or may not be aware that you know that we 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 can help you with all that template stuff as well. Um, 
but basically, you know, the thing will sit there. And what it's going to do is, whilst it's checking the website, it's actually going to check for any email addresses as well. So if it can find a valid email address, what it'll actually do is email them the report for you with this message. So it's, kind of, it's, it's completely hands-free. All you need to do is give it the thing to go searching for, and whether that's you know real estate agents in Florida or hair salons in London, whatever it might be, um, there's 10 million people to find. So you know we could all be very, very busy with this, and, and there's going to be literally no overlap whatsoever. And it'll just sit there churning out the emails for you. All you need to do is wait for the inquiries to come back in. It is, and you know that's exactly what's been happening. It's it's as simple as that. People need this service. You know, we're not intruding in any way. We're just providing them with what they need in a very, very elegant manner. Um, which you know, that's it's the strat. There is the strategy, guys. You, you've you've got an end-to-end -end strategy. It's just a case of delivery. And you know, as I said, we've we've got you covered on that. I believe, Lee, haven't we? Is, is would now be a good time to sort of walk through the. Those, those additional bits and bobs if people need them on, on the earth to go side of things? Yeah, let's, uh, you know, Mike, <laughs> as usual, we've got a basic and a pro version, right? Of the software. That's right, yeah. And uh, the difference between the mm -hmm. two, can you explain the difference between the two? We, we will, as yeah, you know, guys will be totally yeah. transparent to you that there are two other things to buy. You may or may not need them. If you need them, that's cool. Uh, but uh, and I will show you all of that stuff so that you know exactly what the options are. But let's start with the basic and pro version. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just a very simple, um, albeit a very important difference. But effectively, um, you know, because yeah, you know, we've got some guys that are just starting out. The you know the the money's they haven't got lots of money to invest. So we, you know, we always like to be able to offer. To a, a, a version of the software that you know, with a bit of elbow grease and hard work, you can, you can, you know, you can do it, but save a few quid in, in into the process. So, um, effectively, the the pro version is is what we can see here. It does all the report thing. Um, oh, by the way, guys, it also spits out. Um, let me just show you that because I've got all carried away and, and not bothered. But as part of the um, the run process, it'll ask you for a folder to save all the reports into. Um, and it also spit you out a data sheet as well with all the information on there and their email addresses and whether it's an email or not and all that stuff as well. So you, you, it does that every time it runs. So you, you get that data um, moving forward. I've been talking about selling you know, data. There's a potential spin-off business there just selling the data, but it's you know, another thing altogether. Um, but yeah, I mean, as far as the basics concerned, it does the report stuff. It spits out the data sheet what it doesn't do is the emailing thing it doesn't have that email bit um, on, on the tools bars there um, and it just doesn't do it so you know if if you feel that you don't need it to do the emailing for you or you know you're going to do that yourself um, which you can do manually and you need to save a few a few dollars then you know the basic version will be cool you could you could go with that um, but if you want the full just you know leave the thing running um, then you know, you know you'll need the email bit of it as well and you'll You'll put your details in there and it'll just sit there and go find your clients. Very cool. So let's do this. Let's um, let's uh, switch the control of the what what they're seeing over to me. So let me make myself a presenter. And guys, we're mm -hmm. going to have some Q and A at the end, and I'm I'm seeing a yeah. lot of very specific questions. Those are great questions, but let let's cover that at the end. Um, I did see some of those out the corner of my eye, guys. I wasn't purposely ignoring you, but exactly to get through it. We'll, 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 you know, as long as it takes. I've nowhere to be but here, so I'll more than happily uh, answer any questions that, that we've got. Okay, so um, the software, and um, if you want to take a look at this page yourself, I have a Bitly link, which I am now putting into the chat. And if you guys, uh, Mike and Gloria, wherever you are, if you could help me propagate that, it's bit.ly forward slash, and then the letters mobile CF, M-O-B-I-L-E-C-F. So just pop that in there. Now, so this is the software. When you uh, click on that bit.ly link, you're going to land on this page, mobile client finder. The difference between the basic and pro version is the pro version emails. Pretty important feature, but if you you know if money's really tight, we got you covered on that. 
This is our peeps only price, $37 for basic, $47 for pro. Now, we have two other things that you may be interested in buying. I don't know if you need them or not, but we, our goal was to have the entire business available to you. So you could run the software, you could uh, have mobile sites to sell, you could have graphics to brand yourself, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So let's go through all of that. Okay, so once, once you pay for that, you will land on this page. And this is basically graphics. And well, let, let, let's see exactly what's contained here. Let me just show you those. Bear with me. We've got you covered in 10 really, really good niches. That's supposed to say auto body repair, not report, but auto body repair, automotive repair, bail bonds, carpet cleaning, dental services, electrical services, handyman, heating and air, optometrists, and plumbing. So for each of these 10 niches, you get the following right here. You get two mobile websites for each niche, and I've got a link below, which you can see in a minute. You can pop that in your phone and take a look and see what it looks like. You've also got 10 header graphics for each niche and five promotional postcards. So in all, you get 20 mobile HTML websites. These come, these are really simple websites that come with complete instructions. If you've never, if you, if you don't understand things like redirects and how in the world is the site going to figure out that someone's looking at it from a phone as opposed to from a computer, we've got that whole thing covered. 100 header graphics and 50 postcards, all for the crazy low price of $27. Now, a lot of you, because there have been a ton of mobile website builders, HTML mobile website things, you may or may not need that. And that's totally cool, but if you do need it, it's here. You can look at examples of these right here. If you, now, this isn't a link because the goal is to look at this on your phone, right? So if you will just take this, actually you can strip off the HTTP colon slash slash part and just type in bit.ly forward slash mobile CF and then the number one. If you will put that into your phone, you will see an example of one of the mobile sites and mobile CF2 is an example of another one. Michael, we'll get, we'll, I, I've had a couple of questions about that. We'll, we'll get to that later. So. Right here, that's what that is, 27 bucks for that. One more thing. It would be really good if you could take all this traffic that you're creating and actually create an email list with it and uh, send it to a landing page and have a done for you email sequence because, you know, business owners, they're, they're busy, they're running a business, they're putting out five different fires at the same time and just because they got your report from the software doesn't mean that they're going to act on that right now. So it is really smart marketing to have an email sequence where you are um, reminding them that you're here, that you know, that they need to do something about this, et cetera, et cetera. So for that we have the following, a done for you email sequence and five landing pages. These are small pictures of the landing pages, but if you're on this particular URL, you can click somewhere. Oh, excuse me, right there. Click right here and right here, and you can see an example of the landing page. Let's do that. Now, these are two-step landing pages. I, I, if y'all do a, a lot of um, lead capture and email marketing, stuff like stuff like that. These two-step landing pages are proven to be quite a bit better than the uh, one-step landing page where it has the fields actually on the page itself. So you click here, put your stuff in here, click that, bam, you're in. So we've got you covered on that. So let's go over this from the very beginning. The software itself, $37 for the basic, $47 for the pro, does exactly what Mike says it does. The pro emails, the basic does not. You want the um, mobile sites and the marketing materials, that's on this next page, $27.
you want the funnel, the emails, and the landing pages, that's right here. Okay? So that's what this is, and that, that, that there's, there's no other hidden anything. Um, we are going to have, and this was Mike's suggestion, we, we are going to have a, um, and this is, I, I don't have it on, let me just be super clear about this so you, so you understand what I'm telling you. I don't have it mentioned on this page, but we are going to have a free Q&A webinar. I haven't scheduled the time on that yet, I don't think. I might have. I've been doing so much stuff lately, I've forgotten what, what I did. But the Q&A webinar, we, we realize we're throwing a ton of stuff at you. We've been selling this stuff kinds of things for a number of years. You might get into it. You might have some questions. We, we don't want you to be stopped at all and, and not be able to proceed and make money because you've got a question that one of the three of us could easily answer. So we are going to have a Q&A webinar, but that's included with the front-end purchase here. So that's what we got. And if you want to purchase this, please go to the following URL, which is bit.ly bit.ly forward slash mobile cf m-o-b-i-l-e c-f okay anything to add to that Mike or Gloria um, I just I mean it's just it's the full picture isn't it as I said you know it's it's truly know, I, I mean, nuts. It, it's everything it, you know that the difficult thing is getting to these people quickly and in a in a you know in the right manner, and the software just handles that completely. Mm -hmm. And you know that those, those those upsells give you the thing to go sell them. I mean, literally, with with you could it's sell the entire those entire business. Easy. It is the entire business. Yeah, so, it's, um, it literally is. And and I fully expect to you know six months time hear about people that have created whole new businesses with this as a launch pad because it's that's you know um that that's how these things start you know it really does and, and there'll be people that maybe weren't planning to get into this business right now and all of a sudden have seen this opportunity and you know they just take it and but again it's as always it's it's about taking action because we really are on the clock here you know it's every moment that's passing that 10.1 whatever million it is is getting smaller and smaller until the world a day will come when the internet is entirely mobile friendly because of you know it's either been changed or or people have built new sites that have done that so you know it's um, time is of the essence you know it's kind of cool because it's it, it's not only a, a technical issue or a technological issue but the fact is Google's doing a lot of your advertising for you yeah which I think is really neat because uh, people are going, people are hearing about, I mean, not just us, not, not just people that stay glued to their computer and are really interested in this, but your average business owner is going to start hearing about this and wondering what to do about it, not know what to do about it. And with the software, you got exactly the way to find those people. We have about 45 million questions that just flash by the screen. <laughs> you want to, um, why don't we start at the top of those and, and work our way down yeah, yeah. Let, let me kind of scroll up some. Uh, yeah, on the um, on the report, um, it's spelled in the Queen's English optimization with a Z instead of an. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, it's, uh, it's, got, it's got it's the the software now is. As American, I, I mean, by all means, if there are other little tweets, I'll make them and roll out yeah. an update. But we'll, we'll, now, we'll, we'll, as you we'll get that scene about. all over the place. <laughs> we'll get that scene about. I'm such a poor speller, I had to actually Google it to see which way it was spelled. Um, it, it does say it. It's spelled with a, Z, with a Z now, and it's um, the, the date format is also um, month, day, year. But well, well, we'll make sure that that's Americanized. Uh, I've, actually got, I've actually I've got a few updates that I'm going to pl I'm planning to roll out over the over the coming couple of weeks um, with some localization stuff and things like that as well. So, um, I mean, you know, it's 
it's just going to keep getting better to be completely honest with you but I mean it's, it's good enough as it is like but I've just got some stuff I would like in it personally so I'm going to add it and of course anybody that gets it will get those updates rolled out as well automatically sure so I'm looking at Earl's question he says is this looking for both responsive sites and sites with redirect scripts to custom mobile sites um, yes it's it's what it's doing is it, because it's using Google's mobile friendly tool it's Google's opinion of that domain name plain and simple and that's the only thing that matters um, because they're the ones making the decisions, they're the ones pushing people down down the search engine. So, you, you know, it's effectively it, it's how Google bought, you know, Google's Google scrape a little tool that they have that goes around looking up all the websites. It's how it would react to a visit to that website. See, that's really um, important because that's, just, uh, that's not just us deciding something. That, in, in other words, you're you're taking it straight from the horse's mouth. The this. Yeah. This whole website is not up to snuff in Google's in, in Google's opinion, and uh, that needs yeah. fixing. So I, we, we've had a bunch of questions about all of that. So I, um, like uh, with subdomains and stuff like that. I mean, the bottom line is we're just taking it straight from Google. The information, the site's not the way Google needs it to be. We're taking that information, creating the report, sending it to the business owner and saying, hey, your site's not the way Google says it needs to be. You need to do something about that. So, so I think that should cover all of those because I got like five or six questions in and around that whole thing. So I'm just going to assume that, Mike, you and I just answered all five or six of those at the same time. Okay. Um, spelling dealt with that one. Hang on. Patrick says, can you change the copy on this page? Um, I'm not sure if Patrick, which page Patrick is talking about. You, if he's talking about the report, I mean, how, how does, can you, or? Um, I've actually, I actually wanted to, wanted to put this one out to public opinion. It's on, it's on the someday maybe list of features that we've, we kind of got going with that. Um, obviously the danger is, um, if you make too much of it, uh, you know, input PDFs are notoriously um, dynamic PDFs. Ask any developer, they're a pain in the backside to, to, to make look right all of the time. Um, so the, the, the problem is if you, if we, if we make too much of it editable, then, you know, all of a sudden you, you, your reports end up looking, you know, they stop working properly. Um, one thing I have considered, I'm just going to bring in, um, I'm just going to bring in a, a sample report here. Um, let's, let's bring that one in. Uh, one area that did make sense, um, and I'm not, on, I'm not sharing a screen anymore. Can you just make me the presenter again, Lee? Because this yeah. is actually a very good question. If enough people want want it to happen, I'll make it happen. Hold on. Um, Let me find you. Okay, here we go. Let me share my screen. Oh, hold on. Which there you go. My, um, hold on. Let's check that I've got the... Okay. Can I, what can I, it's not telling me which screen I'm sharing, guys, unfortunately. I, I Can you all see a copy of the mobile? Yeah, we're seeing that. Okay, very cool. Um, yes, that, that at the top is with spelt with a Z now and the date's different, just to clarify on that. Um, yeah, what, what I did consider is this, we could probably make either this top paragraph or this bottom paragraph editable. Um, so yeah, I mean, if, if, if enough people feel they would get benefit out of that, um, then you, you, we'll do it, you know. It's, um, we've, we're going to roll out some updates anyway, if enough, if, you know, if, what the people want, the people get. <laughs> so, yeah, as it stands, no. The only thing that is best that you that obviously this whole centre bit's dynamic anyway, based on the, uh, the the website that it's producing the report for. But in terms of editable areas, at the moment, you've just got the sidebar. So mm -hmm. you know, we'll, we'll, we may well end up adding that anyway. 
Yeah, so Patrick, that, it's a strong maybe. The downside yeah, is sure. it's going to make it so much easier for people to break it, frankly. And yeah. So, just, so we'll, we'll leave it as a strong maybe. Yeah. Let's see what else. I mean, personally, of course, this is me. You know, I, I, I would just run the daylights out of this thing and not worry about it. But, you know. I think Frank wants to know about in the scraping part of the software. You get, do you get the phone number of the company also? You certainly do. You get, um, yeah, you get the, the name, you get the full personal address, you get the the telephone number, and you get the email if it's uh, if it's there as well. That right there is worth buying the software for. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a very cool little square. Uh, Colin's got something completely unintelligible to me. He says Stockton on Tees, which I'm assuming is a place name, comes mm -hmm. under Durham County. So it's a little far away from Georgia, but, you know, <laughs> I'm messing um, with you a little bit. I'm sure I passed it once on a motorway. <laughs> <laughs> so I think basically what he's asking is about the accuracy of the location. Mm -hmm. um, well, I would tag UK onto that. I mean, just on that note there, um, you could sell the, 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 I mean, this is international. I, I mean, I have sold this to a few American businesses, so you know, it doesn't matter. If you've got PayPal, you can get the money, can't you? It's, it's not... Um, it's not a problem, but I mean, if you are trying to be very targeted with the software, you just tag UK onto the end of it. Yeah. We'll deal with that anyway. But um, well, yeah, just say it doesn't. If somebody emails you saying, "Hey, I'd like to buy a mobile site off you," then sell them one. <laughs> I can pretty well guarantee you there's not a Stockton on Tees in the United States, but you know, just saying. Uh, Matthew wants to know what about the need for proxies? Do you? There is no need for. That. Um, there is no need for proxies, really. It's um, you know we're 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 plugging into the uh, the, the Google Places API, so you know that's that's cool. As the lim that you, you, we've already built um, some limits into the um, into the software to make sure they don't query the API too quickly, mm -hmm. um, which you have to do to make it work anyway. Um, so effectively, you know, it's it, you don't need a proxy. Um, you just you just mail in. Um, and yeah. It's great. It's great oh, just you just to talk about that some. This, this is a completely lily white piece of software in Google's eyes because we're we're doing nothing more than what Google currently wants you to do. Yeah, I mean we're helping. They made them available. <laughs> it makes a change, them. I know. But <laughs> yeah, I know. There's no angle on this. There's no rule bending. There's no you know. I mean, we probably can't actually call it a smoker product. <laughs> Even the social media hippies could use this one. I mean, Christ. <laughs> Mark wants to know how many can you have running at one time? Depends how powerful your computer is, but I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I haven't. Honestly, I've, I've had a couple open at a time while I've been doing stuff with it, testing and what have you, but. Um, the only time where you'll get into a problem with that is um, the bit where it's querying the API, and, and you know, I mean, obviously, it's it's got a, it does take a little bit of time running through the the report because that's that's Google going off and doing the crawl and bringing the data back. Um, so that little demo I did at the beginning where it's got the progress bar and it kind of takes a minute or so. Um, which, by the way, I mean, if it's a mobile friendly site, it happens real quick. So it skips through them pretty quickly, but. If the site's got a ton of problems and Google's struggling to crawl it, it takes a little bit longer. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I've had two or three running without any problems at all. Um, I mean, more than that. Jesus, you better make sure you've, you've got your, your house in order to deal with that many people wanting to buy mobile sites off you, I guess, because you're going to get a lot of inquiries coming in. You know, a real lot. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, Greg, let me, let me post the link for you. So 
Greg wants to know the link to buy. So I just posted that and made it available to uh, everybody. Michael wants to know if somebody set up this fun funnel on your website. My Michael, um, I mean, the answer is yes, but I I'll be honest with you. You can go to Fiverr and find somebody to do that or go to somewhere like Odesk or Elance and find plenty of folks to do that just a whole heck of a lot cheaper than, than anybody that we know. I mean, that, that, that's, that's pretty much no-brainer work. So I, I would go that route. Uh, Mike, do you see Travis's question? Um, I think he's wondering if he can. I think he's wondering if we if he can download the uh, once once it creates the report of you know all that great data. Can you download that to your computer? Yeah, it downloads as it, as yes. Uh, maybe I didn't make that very clear. What I mean, let me demonstrate. You can still see my screen, right? Is that still visible to everybody? Yes, yes, it is. Okay. So I mean, it, literally, if I just click. Analyze and report. Um, oops, <laughs> let me just disable mail a second. One moment. Um, turn that off. Okay. Um, so if I hit analyze and report, the very first thing that it does is um, brings me up a little browser folder dialog, and you know I need to tell it a, a folder. For example, Mobile Client Finder Test is the one I've been using. Um, to save all the reports in, so even if, if it can't email them, it just it'll just drop a copy of the report in there anyway. So you can do it manually or whatever, um, or just delete them if you're not going to use them. But I mean, if I just just pull that up, um, you know, that's basically what you end up with: a whole bunch of reports, um, all branded, um, and the and the resulting data file from all that data as well. So yeah, that's how it works. I think that answers that pretty succinctly, really. Okay, cool. I was answering a few other questions. Let's see what else we got. I don't know, Matthew. I mean, that's I'm I'm, I'm just not sure. We're 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 moving in a certain direction, and um, it's pretty big. Hit me up on Facebook. I'll I'll, I'll tell you what we're doing. You're. You know, so so I mean, if you want to know more about that, just let me know. Oh. And I'm probably pronouncing this name wrong, and if so, I apologize. Isan, uh, I think we covered that when we covered how it's actually deciding that Google thinks that the mobile readiness of a given website is deficient. Okay, because it's doing that through the API. How hard to change websites to other niches, Mark? I'm not sure I'm following that. If it, and it's been a while. We've had so many questions, Mark. It's been a while since you put that in there. So if you want to. Oh, Lee, I think he's talking about the mobile sites. Correct me if I'm wrong. I well, let's go, let's go with that in case, in, in case yeah, you're right. Hopefully this, this is correct. Um, it's not. You just have to change out the header graphic, the colors, and stuff like that. Um, you can kind of reuse them over and over again. Um, I, uh, and this is a nice, these, these mobile sites are a nice little um, kind of a, a band-aid solution for someone that does not want to invest or doesn't have the money, a business that doesn't have the money to invest an entire, you know, mobile responsive site. Um, so this just gives them a mobile presence. And I, I was selling these for like $495 a pop two years ago. You know, and I use the same template over and over. I just kind of, you know, added pages, changed the title of the pages added different content, added different images, you know, that type of thing. Hope that answers the question. Yeah, I think just to add to that, Gloria, the beauty of them is because they're simple mobile sites, they're just so easy to edit for anybody that knows basic HTML, which means even if you don't know it yourself and you outsource it, you can get it, you could get it done for, I mean, literally pennies. <laughs> it's, it's just such easy work that even a, mm -hmm. a, you know, a novice can handle if, if they're trained in that, that sort of thing. So. 
Yeah, yeah. I think we were factoring in, you know, from a production standpoint, probably being able to produce sites like this, like one per hour, you know, something like that. And if you're selling them for like 400 bucks or 495 a pop, I mean, that's money in the bank. Yeah. And somehow my, Tim, I'm trying to send you a, a link, and for some reason my <clears throat> GoToWebinar is not allowing me to do that. I don't really, you might want to just clear your cookies and try that link again. Because I just looked at it and it, it's working for me, so you might want to do that. If um, and for some reason, if y'all see Tim's comment, Tim Parker, it's getting an error on the sales page. If you could just pop the Bitly link in there to him, because uh, for some reason on my little question and answer panel, it's not letting me do that. Bill's got a good question, Mike. Can you explain how the email can be run on autopilot? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, literally, you, so not you, um, once you put your settings in there, your, your SNCP settings for your, your email service, whether you know, Gmail or if you've got an SNCP service to use, um, it just, it, whilst it's running, it sits there pinging out the emails, plain well, and simple. It, it just does it. You don't need to do anything apart from run the software. So you put your details in, you put the message that you want it to send, um, and it sends it. That's it. It's, it's, it's that, that element of it is fully automated. Right. So in other words, you don't have to sit there and babysit it. You just run it, collect what you want. So uh, yeah, I mean, ju ju to the point, uh, just, just so you know, one of the updates, I'm airing it out over the weekend, or if not Monday, um, but I'm going to add a minimize to tray button at the top, mm -hmm. just because... It'll just it won't even clog up my desktop. Then it'll just kind of sit there doing what it does in the tray, and I can bring it back if I need to. But um, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. just how set and forget it is. Yeah. And Greg, we we are recording this, um, and you you may or may not have answered this earlier, and I'm I may or may not have or asked this, and I may or may not have answered it. But we are recording this. It takes. Sometimes I can get the recording up by tonight. Sometimes it's tomorrow. It, it, it's just all according. Um, as you all know, we're, we're, we're all three remarkably busy. We're, um, we're victims of our own creativity. That's <laughs> what it boils down to. Lyle, I think we covered that on the report. Uh, that that uh, may or may not be a change that we make. It's really kind of according. Isan wants to know how many um, installations, how, how many in different installations, not instances of the software you can run, but how many installations, because he's, and Isan, I said he, I don't know if you're a he or a she, if so I apologize, um, but um, he works with a partner, or she works with a partner, so, so in other words, how many machines can you put this on? Two. Two, there you go. Gordon wants to know, please explain how and when OTO2 would be used in the process. Okay. Do you, do, shall I explain? I mean, the, the, that OTO2, which is the landing pages, I mean, they are, um, in, a, in addition to this, a, a great way of funneling in, um, in, in the email data. Um, and, and yet, Providing another channel for um, for inquiries to come through. I mean, you know, if you've certainly if you've got you, you've got the facility to provide this, um, you know, mobile client finder by itself is a brilliant way to get lots of clients. Obviously, but there's no harm in having more than that. And you know, if you've got social media, I mean, certainly, I mean, a lot of guys on here will have obviously bought the likes of Social Post Magic or or Twitter Envy. Um, those landing pages. I mean, they're just killer for, for, for any of those kind of tools where you can flush traffic through um, because everybody's talking about this right now you know it's it would be a shame to miss the inbound stuff as well so yeah. I mean effectively with those landing pages you can get them set up um, and drive your social media traffic or or whatever through to those um, 
and and get you know even more customers. You know, guys, th this this is going to make sense to some of you. Others of you who've come into our world more recently, this this may not make sense to you. But the two pieces of software Mike mentioned, Twitter Envy and Social Post Magic, and and we've done some webinars about this, and I, I've I've got a post on my blog which you can see at internetmaverick.com about this. Uh, a rather lengthy post which will go into all this, but you can create what we loosely call among ourselves a Twitter engine. And basically what that is, it's Twitter Envy, which is cloning an authority account, i.e. getting their followers to follow you. It's Social Post Magic, which is posting content. But if you run two instances of Social Post Magic, you can post content and you can post what I call, loosely speaking, money links. In other words, you can post, in this case, links to landing pages. So Gordon, that would, you know, if, if you want to go big with this, and if you've got those two pieces of software, or you want to buy other software, or you, you want to create that engine of, or you want to buy traffic, or you want to use, use YouTube traffic, whatever, you know, you want to really build this out, then you can do that, and you can send that traffic to those landing pages, and, um, you could really make a big business out of this. By the way, in case any of you are wondering, that whole Twitter engine concept works like gangbusters. It is amazingly effective. So we, we get daily, we get sales daily. We get new subscribers to our various lists just from that. Lyle says, Mike, you mentioned in preview that you would share where we could get these built for 20 bucks. In other words, where could you go to get uh, somebody to put together the site for you and do all that stuff for about 20 bucks? Okay, well, um, in a nutshell, I'll bring it up because there's some, some great guys to, to point out on here. Um, because obviously you can charge a lot more for this if you're going to do a uh, bespoke, as you would term it to a client, bespoke um, you know, to match all their branding or whatever. Um, you can charge a little more money for it, obviously. Um, and you can sell a bunch of them fast. Yeah. And service yeah, a bunch of them fast. That's, you know, from a scalability point of view, but um, okay, let's just get into here. But I mean, I've used a couple of guys on on here already. I mean, I've got a few of my contacts list, but I mean, straight over on Fiverr.com. This is what Fiverr.com written all over it. Way, but for for somebody who is technical, kind of naturally, and in you know, does is is a developer or a web designer, creating a mobile site is just like really easy. It it just is. I mean, it's a simple-ish task to do, but by standards of developing websites and things like that. So, um. You can find people on Fiverr that, you know, I mean, normally speaking, I'll be honest, I do use Fiverr for a, a whole lot of things. Building websites wouldn't necessarily usually be one of them um, unless it was just something really cheap that I'd sold or whatever. Um, but for the mobile stuff, it's, it's totally cool. You know, these guys are um, more than qualified to deliver very, very good quality things because they're good at doing it. They can churn them out very quickly. Um, and therefore, you know, that you can get some very nice quality sites and, you know, they'll also help out if you are struggling a little bit with the, the technical side of redirecting, even though we've got all that, you know, that's, that's there in it within the training, but, um, you know, the, I mean, straight away, I'll design your professional mobile website for $5. I'll design, you know, there's, there's, there's quite a few guys on here, you know, Check through the recommended. So you, I mean, they've all got very busy very quickly. Um, some five of them are now offering those services as well. Um, I mean, what I will say is, it's it's worth not being too cheapskate with it. I mean, yes, they'll do you on four or five dollars, um, but it's going to be pretty basic. They're not going to put that much effort into it. What I usually like to do with Fiverr is, you know, they, they have extra gigs on there for for you know extra whistles and bells that they'll do. Um, you, you know, I'm totally cool paying twenty dollars to get something that I can sell for 500 all day long. That isn't a problem. You know, I mean, I've, I've spent $50 doing that. And, you know, for, for these guys, if you, if you buy those extra gigs and, and show them that you're a good customer, you'll start to get preferential treatment, you'll get your jobs done quicker, all that kind of thing. So, you know, it's, it is, 
it's not worth cut for the sake of saving like five dollars. I mean, what does that even buy? Um, you know, it's it's worth buying those extra things. But I mean, you know, all day long you can just put gigs up on here, and it is just a case of um, go sell them. <laughs> That's yep. it. You know, you've got people that are desperate to get them. They're, you know, they're getting in touch to get you them, take the money off of them, and you know, get a deposit or get payment in full even. Um, you don't even. You, I mean, it's literally cash flow positive from day one. I would. You, you, there was no, no need to lay out anything on, you know, anywhere. Just you know, if a, a local business will have no issue paying. I mean, I, I, I would never start work for less than a fifty percent deposit personally. I know some people do for less. I was asked for half up front and half on it's ready to go live. Um, you know, and another you know, another tip there again: don't put it live until they pay you, because then again it just speeds the whole process up. You show them the finished thing, they say, "Yeah, that's cool." You say, oh, "That's great, pay me." And I'll put it live then, and they do. <laughs> that's, that's how it works. Very cool. So, yeah, um, Matthew, who is from? I, mean, I guess you could use a number of, yeah. you could use a number of the free. But, but Fiverr is very cool for it, and there's some very good guys on there at the moment. Do really yeah, this is definitely Fiverr level one. Thing. I was going to point out that uh, Matthew, who's yeah. in Edinburgh, yeah. is making a, a friendly comment about your accent. So I can't really read. If I read what he's saying, there's not wrong with the Queen's English. That doesn't all right. sound at all like you, but, you know, you know, I'm in Georgia. What can I say? Oh. <laughs> Will it auto update upon launch? Oh, okay. La wants to know if the software auto updates. Like if you make an update to it and La goes back the next day and fires it up, yes. is it going to yes. auto update? Yes. I have included that. Yeah. Yeah. It's purely because I am planning to release a number of updates over the coming weeks. Yeah. It makes sense to make sure the app auto updates. Anyway, so yes, it does. It's into that. Tim, I think we just um, basically talked about that, finding people who could build this for you. Isan says, uh, do you provide the initial email copy to send to prospects? And uh, I th think you covered that, didn't you, or how that works? Is that, uh, there's a number of emails in OTO one anyway, isn't there? Two. I mean, if 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 there's nothing specific, I mean, I'm sure between us, call it an unannounced bonus. I'm sure between us, we could probably fire out three or four very good examples of how to do how to do that. Yeah, Tim. Tim, he's he's changing that the quote unquote Z in the word optimization. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah. Just, just to categorize on that, it's gone. If you if you buy the software and, and it generates... There is no Z. Right now, it, no, it is Z. It is Z. See, I can't spell. I'm, I'm, see, I, I'm probably dyslexic, but they didn't know what that was. When I'm, so all they didn't know what that was. That out to me on Facebook this morning. So as a last minute, um, as a last minute update before we uploaded it to the members area, I actually made that change. Michael has already bought it, and he is at this moment firing it up. Very cool, an action taker. I love it. Yeah, well, that's what it's about. I mean, just Cecilia wants to know if you can run multiple copies. So, could you run multiple instances on your computer? Yes. Basically, to cover, you know, the the idea is there to cover different keywords. So you could do hair salons, Sarasota hair salons, London hair salons. LA hair salons, Denver, you know, yeah. Frank wants to see the client file, and I, I think what he's looking at is the uh, the results of the scraping. Okay, I'll bring that back in. Uh, there it was. So, yeah, business name, business category, telephone number. Full postal address, web address. Um, I broke this one off early, but you get whether or not it's friendly. So um, I think I saw a question at some point blip up, but the the data sheet actually logs all friendly off from Google Places. Um, so yeah, you get you, you know 
although it only does the work for the non-friendly ones, you do actually get the data for the friendly ones too, which may or may not be useful to you. You, know, it's, you, can, never have an, you can never have enough data, in my opinion. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, there it is. And Issa, and I think Issa's talking about the, the email that goes out from the mobile client finder, you, you wants to know if the emails are personalized with the prospect's name. Not currently because, um, I mean, just to bring that back, you don't necessarily get. Um, yeah, that, that I'd be really, really careful about that because you're going to get some oddball name or somebody's going to be. If you get their name, yeah. it's Richard, but everybody who knows them calls them Rich. I, I, I think I would just leave the name off, frankly, because you're going to screw that up fifty percent of the time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're better off just writing a generic email that, that fits. Yeah, I would just start, you know, when, when I write emails like that, is I just start those off with hi or hello, comma, and then just launch into the email. Or sometimes uh, I will even leave the greeting part out because it's an email. Okay? I mean, you got your name and your phone number and all that stuff at the bottom. Uh, so they know who it's from. They can, you know, call you and do all that stuff. But, but, but I would leave the, um, I would just leave that out, and make the email fairly short so people can read it at a glance. Uh, Matthew's saying if Prospect hasn't got a Google Places listing, then presumably the software won't be able to scrape any or much data apart from the URL. Is that true? Um, well, it won't find them in the first place because it's querying Google Places right. to, to get the, the data. So yeah, they, they just would stay off the radar. Um, that said, um, and again, another feature that a few people mentioned to me that I, I think would be very cool. Um, that I'm, I've got the roadmap that I'm planning to roll out. This will be one of the last ones I do, but I am going to uh, build into it the functionality to allow you to, rather than do the search, to just um, produce reports for a, a list that you've already got and do the do the check-ins if for, for people you know it will be a browse file button and you'll probably give it a CSV of web addresses and or email addresses um, which it'll then go and do the mobile friendly thing and, and, and do that so there'll be, the, 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 in, there will be an additional way to, to process that um, for those of us that have already got lists of, of web addresses and stuff very cool. We're, we're having an ongoing discussion about um, geography in the UK. Um, yeah, Frank has a good question. Frank, unfortunately, has left, so he's not going to hear the answer. He's got a kind of a misconception here. He says, what happens after you sell the 20 sites? Can you buy 20 more for the same price? Those are templates, okay? I mean, those are HTML sites. So you you add those onto the client's website and you put a redirect script. And we got this whole thing covered, or you go to Fiverr and find somebody that already knows how to do it. If you know how to do this stuff, let me put it this way, even I can do this stuff, okay? So if you know how to do this stuff, it's pretty simple. But uh, Frank, in case you listen to the replay, uh, these are templates and you just use those over and over and over again. So you got to, HonoluluHairSalon.com. You use, you know, you, you you can use a template for that, and then you got DenverHairSalon.com. You can use the same template for that. Michael wants to know how many emails can be sent out daily. Um. Well, the, the, the short answer is as many as as you like. Um, I mean, if you've got a couple of instances running and, um, you know, it would be quite a few, I guess it, it takes, it takes on average probably a minute to do the mobile friendly check, half of them are friendly, um, so you would be sending 30 emails per hour per instance, roughly. Um, where you would potentially run into trouble with that is if, for example, you're using your uh, Gmail SMTP. Uh, service. Gmail's going to think that you're spamming people pretty quickly and, and shut you down. Um, 
So if you you know if you're gonna have it running night and day and doing that sort of thing, I'd highly recommend using a um, an SMTP service. I use I, I use Turbo SMTP. Um, there are a few more. I guess we could put some links in the members area for people that need need signposting to their sort of services. But I mean they're they're usually you know a few dollars a month that that kind of cost. Um, but you wouldn't run into the problems that. You know, using a free service like Gmail might have if, you, if you're going to be doing a lot of this. Um, so yeah, that's you know. Yeah. And I guess if you've got, you know, you, you could potentially have it running on a laptop and a desktop. Um, you know, so you'd be upwards of a hundred an hour, something like that, which is that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, <It's you're>, there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That that that's going to keep you busy. Tom's got a really good question, which I failed to mention. The graphics that you get with the OTO, Tom, that is including the PSD files, so those are completely editable for you. So you can change all that stuff. Or you can send it to somebody on Fiverr and have them change all that stuff, either way. But, but these, are, these are not fixed images. Tim, I think we covered that. Okay, I've had two, two people ask about the initial email. Um, I'll tell you what, guys, I, I, I will break. I've written a couple of emails in my life. Uh, I will break down and actually write you an example swipe email for that. Now, caveat, okay, I was joking when I said I'd written a couple of emails in my life. It's, it's, it's more like many thousands. <laughs> Times when I personally have sold email stuff to people sometimes I'm just trying to avoid tickets coming back to me. People look at it and they don't understand it, okay? I mean, I, I, I'm a professional email writer, okay? So the email that you get, you may look at it and say, what? That's not going to do anything. I guarantee you it will work. It will work like a scalded dog. Don't screw around with it. Don't add a bunch of junk in there that it doesn't need to have, okay? E emails need to be bam, bam. You see it? You understand it? You act on it, maybe you're gone. Okay, so Cecilia, I will write that. And what I'll do is um, we're looking at probably with my schedule 24, 48 hours, something like that, Cecilia. So if you will check in the members area, um, it's the weekend also. Cecilia, check by Monday in the members area. And I will have an, an example email for you. Okay. This works on Windows. Matthew was saying he's asking about proxies because he's using an automated Google search tool and kept getting Google popping up with capture prompts. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, again, again same answer. It's, it's using the API. So even if that's happening in the background, you're running something else on your computer, it, it's irrelevant because the, the way it's, it's talking to an API, it's, you know, it's, it's it doesn't matter. Tim, we've covered the optimization, optimization thing. Uh, it has now changed. And Tim, we, we went over that with uh, Fiverr. Uh, Bill, excuse me, Peter. Peter, hit me up on that, okay? I mean, we'll, 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 we'll figure that out. Generally, generally, we run these sales for 72 hours, three days, more or less, according to whether I forget to take it down or not, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but Peter, if, Peter, just, Peter I, I'm pretty sure you're connected with me on Facebook. If not, my Facebook is facebook.com slash my name, Lee Cole. And the word online, Lee Cole online. Okay, just hit me up. Okay, we'll we'll take care of you. Bill, I think we covered that. Oh, more about what? Tom says more about what? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Patrick's got a good question. So, it creates a report for all companies in keyword or all non-mobile and keyword. So in other words, does it re create a report for all those businesses or just the ones that don't, that Google says, hey, the mobile is not up to snuff? 
That's it. It will only create the PDF report if it isn't mobile friendly. Okay. It won't bother otherwise. Sam, I think we just went over um, how you can take the um, the mobile sites, the HTML templates that you buy from us, and go to Fiverr and easily get somebody to do that. It's going to cost you. You put all that together, twenty dollars or less. Ben, yes, you can export that the data. You bet, Mark. Uh, Bill, if you're if you're talking about the initial email, yeah, you put in you can put in there whatever you want. Uh, if you're talking about the email sequence, you can edit that in there. Don't know download just Lynn. Lynn, uh, Lynn just purchased the pro version and says there's no download link. Uh, we had our VAs working late into their night getting this all put together in time for you guys. I'll go over there and check if the link screwed up. We'll we'll get that fixed. Um, guys, I, I, I personally have got some to do at four. This is going to take me a few hours. So, Lynn, just, just Lynn, let, let's put this. It will be there probably by later on today. I'm in Eastern Time in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, if not, definitely by tomorrow. But I'll, I'll go up there myself and look and see what's going on. Julie, no. Tom's got a great question. Mike, you want to talk about running this on a VPS? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it'll run nice on a VPS. It's, what, it's what, would it take a really heavy-duty VPS? I mean, does, does he need to pay through the nose for some monster, or is it going to work on your garden front? Oh, God, no. no, 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 no. It's, um, I mean, as our software goes, it's, it's pretty lightweight, actually, yeah. um, in, in terms of, result, of, of, of you know, PC resources. Um, you know, the API calls are very, very lightweight indeed. They, they don't say much at all. Um, the only bit of work is the PDF generation, but because because of the nature of the way it runs, I mean, certainly if you're only running one or two instances, um, you know, as long as the VPS could save as a PDF from Word or whatever, which, you know, doesn't take a lot of power at all, um, then, then the software would be fine because it actually wouldn't even need that much. So yeah, I mean, a VPS is a really good way to go with it. Um, I mean, the the only thing being, obviously, you do need to you do need to punch the keywords in and, and pop back and do it. But I mean, I'm finding on average, you know, if you're getting sort of 50 or 60 results back, um, which for a smallish place you, you know you'll easily get, then it it can take up to you know. A couple of hours to run the reports, mm -hmm. and that's just Google. That there's, you can't make that go any quicker. Right. Um, so I mean, it is, that's why it is kind of a thing that get it running and then go and do, you know, whatever. It yeah, is but you time. run it. You you run it. It's sitting there running your computer. You're doing other stuff, and it's doing the whole thing for you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Tim. Just in case you didn't hear the answer to that, uh, I'll, I'll look over there in the members area and see why the link's not there. It, it, it will soon be there, with the caveat that I have to do something at four, which is going to take a little while. But but we will get that there ASAP. James says, "How many machines can most of the software that you guys be installed on?" So it's two machines per license for all of the above that you mentioned. Social plus magic, Twitter, Envy, Auto Engage. Kathy, those should be in OTO2, the 24 emails. Uh, again, I, I, I will look over there and uh, make sure they're there. Um, correct, Gordon. Cecilia, you can get an idea of what the website will look like. And these are just some examples. Um, as time goes on, like in the next day or two, um, basically I'm going to take these. You can't see what I'm doing. Hang on. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> now you can see what I'm talking about. So I, I'm... I'm going to basically take these pages that you see here, there, 
and there, and I will flesh these out. Okay, I mean, well, you know, our goal, considering, look, it's not like it's a crisis. Okay, I mean, the the, the people that all told you that mobile getting was a crisis, I mean, they weren't lying. They they just, I don't know. I mean, it's just something to say. It's not really a crisis. It's a remarkable opportunity, but it's not like you need to get it like done all all done tomorrow and day after tomorrow. The opportunity is going to end. So it's it's not like that. So. Um, uh, our goal was to get the software, you know, tightened up, get it out to you, because that's what you need to start running to start getting clients, and um, then you'd have this other stuff if you don't have it. My point being, um, Cecilia and whoever is asking these questions, because uh, I've had several people, I'm going to have more pictures, uh, the, this, this little thing that one of the VAs put on here, 70 more mobile website headers. There are a hundred of them. I'm not sure why it says 70. That's a little crazy looking, but we're going to tighten the we're going to tighten this up in a little bit. So if you're curious about what's here, um, there's going to be more information here later if you want to come back to it. But Cecilia, to answer your question, if you will take what I'm looking at here, and I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to pop this in here. And I set this up like moments before the webinar, but it should redirect on your phone to the mobile site. So you take a look at that. But in general, Cecilia, you, you, you can look at all of these. I mean, the, these are standard mobile websites. Michael, I'll uh, pop in the uh, support desk for you. Hang on just a second. Actually, uh, let's do this. Tim talked about that. I'll go over there uh, just as soon as I can. And uh, if it's not there, I will put a link to there. Well, uh, our VA is just basically killing themselves trying to get this whole thing done in time. What turnaround time should you give the customer, Sam? You mean, I mean, there's a couple of turnaround time issues to make a decision or to pay you. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what you're talking about. From a marketing point of view, what kind of turnaround time should you give the customer? Me personally, I like to have so many... I like to crank up my numbers so big that if somebody screws around, they may just lose. Okay, because what I would do, I, I, I would, I, I mean, 500 is a good number. It, it's it's not low, but you can get more. And you know, I, I I would start at 500. That's a good number. But but I personally sold mobile websites for quite a bit more than that. And I would get this rolling, understand it, and then I would start intelligently moving that price up okay because I can guarantee you once you learn how to work the system you can have people paying you seven eight hundred bucks nine hundred bucks even a thousand bucks for these things I mean, we're talking about the same people who pay eight nine ten thousand dollars for a website okay so having a mobile site for a thousand bucks is going to make total sense to them what kind of turnaround time should you give them I mean I would be using this and running this so hard, Sam, that uh, if somebody screwed around and didn't give me an answer, I'm sorry, you know, call me back two weeks from now. Well, I'm re Lee, I'm ready to buy that for $500. I'm sorry. We were selling so many for $500. We've now increased the price to $600. Do you want to pay $600? No, I don't. I want you to honor the $500 price. Thank you. I love you. I'm so glad you're on the planet, but I can't do that. Call me back when you're ready to pay $600. That's how I would handle that. Thank you, Cecilia. And Cecilia, the, the hey guys, the download, again, our VAs were just, who are great, but they were killing themselves getting all this stuff done. Because there was a, they do all the graphics for us, so there was a massive ton of stuff for them to do. They apparently forgot, it's like forgetting to put gas in the car or something. They forgot to put that download there. But Cecilia, as soon as I can, and again, I got something to do in 15 minutes, but as soon as I can, I will run over there and we'll make sure that's there. 
Uh, this is a new one, Mike. Cecilia's got a license key, but no downloads. Whoa. I know. <laughs> We're not used to that. <laughs> We're used to people getting the downloads and the license gets lost. Patrick, non-mobile. It creates the report for the non-mobiles, the ones that you want to go after. It does not screw around with creating a report for the ones that you don't want to go after. Hey, Lee. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, just as a, as a quick fix, um, what we can do, uh, because one of our VAs is handling support right now, is just give her the download link. Um, and then if you wanted to, since you have the license key, Cecilia, we can just go ahead and, and do that. It's just have them, they'll just go ahead. They, they're just not going to connect it to the website, um, or they, they can't do that just yet. But but they can just go ahead and give you like a Dropbox download yeah. link so you can get the software right away. Cecilia just sent in a support ticket on that. or. Send in a support ticket now or just wait until I get off my 4 o'clock thing and then we'll mm -hmm. get that over. So basically what has to happen, Cecilia, is yours truly. I, 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 Gloria, I've been blaming the VAs. I, I think really it was my fault. Now that I, <laughs> oh, about the software? <laughs> yeah, because yours, I'm raising my hand. Y'all can't see me. But yours truly uh, has to move it up to my... Amazon S3 server. I, I think so. Yeah. I think, I, think, yeah. <laughs> I think I've, I think I've got some explaining to do to the to the VAs, as Ricky Ricardo <laughs> would have said. So, so if they heard that, guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was all me. But so, uh, as soon as I get off my four o'clock thing, which is going to take a little while, as soon as I get off my four o'clock thing, I'll uh, get on Cloudberry, pop it up to S3, and have that link there for you. So. I said, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. Tim, I think we covered that. Yeah. And hang on a minute, guys. Let, let me get down to the end of this. Cool. Michael wants to know if I took the red or the blue pill. Uh, I don't know. I think I, I'm just, just Sam, okay, Sam, you've got a great question. How long would you tell the prospect that it's going to take you to get their website up? Uh, this is what I do personally. I always tell people it's going to take twice as long as I'm positively sure it's going to take. And then they're just totally excited when I get it done in half the time and think I'm a genius, even though it may take me longer than I thought. So, but you would have to, you know, it's according to who you're using. If you're using someone on Fiverr or Odesk or somebody like something like that, you're going to have to coordinate with them. Well, when can you get the files over there? You know, when can you get the redirect script and the header and all that stuff, or in the, in the head portion of the website and all that stuff? So, Mike, I think I cut you off. I'm sorry. No, no, no. You, you, you was, you was answered anyway. I think we're good, guys. Any, any other? Any other um, – Art, we're going to have to see if you're the first one. Uh, we, we have more than one. Well, I want to know, does it email as it processes or does it create all those things and then email them later? No, it does it as it processes. Oh, very cool. So that helps us spread it out some. Yeah, that's exactly why it does it like that. Tom wants to know if he can import a list of uh, websites with email addresses. In other words, could you import your own list for it to email to? Um, it, it's a, I mentioned that earlier. That's It's a feature quite a few people have mentioned to me say, I'm going to do it. Um, we're probably looking at a week, maybe 10 days before I actually get that added to the software. but. Anybody buying that will get that as a free, free upgrade anyway. Kathy, it's not an email, it's a um, link, so you might want to copy and paste that and put it into your browser. We'll look back and see who got the spots right. If you go ahead and buy and you got it right, we'll just refund you.
No, Aman, it's one time. Just so you know, Aman, we, we are actually rapidly moving toward a monthly thing. So uh, uh, that doesn't apply here, but you, you're going to see that in the future. Jeannie, you probably did, but I got to see if you were first. So I'm just going to leave that up to Mike and Gloria because I got to shoot out of here. I, I basically got a phone call with a client in about 11 minutes. But uh, um, so again, guys, if if you correct, if you got the right number on the spots, and you buy it, and you got the right number, uh, I think there's more than one person that got the right number. We we got to look and see who is first. And, you know, if you go ahead and buy it, we'll just refund you. And that's, that's no big deal. We're happy to do that. But we will be contacting the person who got it within, let's say, 24 hours. Tim uh, wants to know if you need proxies because you're scraping. Do you need proxies for that? No, it's all run through the API, so not Yeah, because this is all totally... Kosher. I mean, it's totally Lily White Hat. It's 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 integrating with Google. It's it's not in a it's not in a black or gray hat way really scraping. It's just gathering information from Google in a way that Google has sanctioned. Mark says this is a steal. Yeah, I I, I would agree with that, Mark. Cool beans. Okay, guys. Well, I think we got it. There there is a. Um, Oh, Tim, hang on a sec. The first OTO, if you will give me a second. It's right here. Okay. Done for you mobile websites and the following um, niches. This should say auto body repair, not report. That was just me typing. Automotive repair, bail bonds, carpet cleaning, dental services, electrical services, handyman, heating and air, optometrist, and plumbing. So you get two mobile websites per each of those 20 mobile websites. Header graphics. And so 10 header graphics per niche. So that's 100 header graphics. And uh, 20 postcards. And, and again, guys, I, I will have much better examples of that down here for you to look at. I mean, these are pretty good examples, but you, you can get an idea. But we'll, we'll clean this up some if it needs cleaning up. It might need blowing up a little bit so you can see a little better picture. But what we'll get... Uh -huh. I was just going to say real quickly, the whole idea of offering all of the PSDs and everything for the, the header graphics and then the mobile sites is you virtually have hundreds of different websites yeah. you can create. And so I wanted to make sure that you know you guys had like a complete done for you, that there were no roadblocks in your way. It's like, oh, I can't build a mobile site. Uh, that type exactly. of thing. Oh, I can't do a header graphic or something like that. And these are all low-hanging fruit type of niches. Right, right. The, these are great niches. So that is OTO1, and as you can see, that is uh, 27 bucks. OTO2 is a sales funnel. And uh, basically what you're getting is you're getting five landing pages, and you can... Um, on this page, you can click here and here and see two of the landing pages. I will get the other three up within a day or so, but you can see examples of what these look like. These are what we call two-step landing pages. You know, there's, you, you need to click a button to submit an email. That actually does work quite a bit better than the old-fashioned version. So you get that, and you get a whole done-for-you email sequence. Okay, so, so you get all of that. And these la it. these landing pages were modeled after lead pages. Yeah. Um, and as you know, lead pages are like you know anywhere from sixty seven bucks a month to I think over a hundred bucks a mm -hmm. month. And we just we literally you know just kind of use that as a baseline model because they tend to convert really well, and we wanted these to convert really well for you guys. But you you not having to spend you know sixty seven or ninety seven dollars a month for just right. landing pages. Yeah. Uh, we, we do a ton of uh, marketing that leads toward landing pages, so we ba and, and, and I own lead pages. So we basically uh, took what works 
what, what, what is proven to work, we basically took that and modeled this off of it. Raymond, I'm putting a bit.ly link in here for you. Trying to, hang on a minute. Oops. And uh, that will be the link to the sales page. Cool beans, the replay, and Raymond, you asked about the replay. It, it's recorded. The replay should be out maybe later today. I'm hoping later today. I'm just not promising. But uh, uh, if not, then definitely uh, uh, tomorrow morning sometime. Cool. Thank you all so much for being on the webinar. We really appreciate it. Tim says it's very, very cool. I'm excited about it. Tim. I, I, I think this is in terms of making money. I mean, just like a total solution, the, the, this, mm -hmm. this is up. I mean, this is just crank it up, you know, run the business and make money. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, that, that's it. It's, it's literally a machine. You have everything you need, um, and that's what we wanted to do when we started kind of conceptualizing these things is to put, you know, make sure that there were, like, as little roadblocks as possible that we just kind of cleared the path for you. We're like bulldozers clearing the path. So, And Tim says, thank you for keeping the price reasonable. Tim, this is our peeps only price. This is mm -hmm. what, you know, as time goes on, we build out the prices on these same things. So this, thank you for having bought something from us or somehow ended up on one of our lists somewhere. And thank you for being on this webinar. This is our way of saying thank you. So, uh, but, but the rest of the world doesn't see those. Cool. Okay. So, um, thank you all so much. <laughs> thank you, Tim. Really appreciate that. Um, recording should be out fairly soon, and I will get the link to the download, which we've discovered was my, my fault. <laughs> I will get the link to the download in there just as soon as I possibly can. Don't, don't worry, Kathy. As soon as my fault did... gets over with, I... I'm on it. Yeah. And I did give those links to the, the VA, uh, one of our VAs that's handling support right now. So she's standing by ready in case she gets your support tickets. Um, yeah. That she'll just go ahead and give you that, that uh, Dropbox link to the, the software. So you'll be able to download it ASAP. Cool. Thank you all so much. Right on, guys. And, for, and for people um, people watching the replay as well, um, that do go ahead and buy the software. As I said, we are, de we are developing it out and you guys will get the, the updates as we roll them out automatically. But if you do have a feature request, I mean, not that it prints money, but you know, something sensible that it, you just think it would be cool if it did in addition to what it already does, feel free to drop that into support and if it's, you know, I'm sure the support team will get that over to, over to us in development and you know, if enough people ask for it, then we, we may well just actually include it and, and you'll get that rolled out. So oh. I'd be interested for, for that kind of feedback. Yeah, absolutely. Great. Well, thank you all so much, and um, we'll talk to you very soon. Yep. Thanks, guys. Have a great weekend. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, have a great weekend.